January 8. Abraham's Descendants Abraham married another wife, whose name was Keturah. She gave birth to Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan was the father of Sheba and Dedan. Dedan's descendants were the Asherites, Letishites, and Laumites. Midian's sons were Ephah, Epher, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. These were all descendants of Abraham through Keturah. The sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, were Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan were Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Midian were Ephah, Epher, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. All these were descendants of Abraham through his concubine, Keturah. Abraham gave everything he owned to his son Isaac, but before he died he gave gifts to the sons of his concubines and sent them off to a land in the east, away from Isaac. Ishmael's Descendants This is the account of the family of Ishmael, the son of Abraham, through Hagar, Sarah's Egyptian servant. Here is a list by their names and clans of Ishmael's descendants. The oldest was Nebaioth, followed by Kedar, Adbil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jetur, Naphish, and Kedema. These twelve sons of Ishmael became the founders of twelve tribes named after them, listed according to the places they settled and camped. Ishmael lived for 137 years. Then he breathed his last and joined his ancestors in death. Ishmael's descendants occupied the region from Havilah to Shur, which is east of Egypt in the direction of Asher. There they lived in open hostility toward all their relatives. The sons of Abraham were Isaac and Ishmael. These are their genealogical records. The sons of Ishmael were Nebaioth, the oldest, Kader, Adbil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jeter, Naphish, and Kedema. These were the sons of Ishmael. Isaac's Descendants Abraham was the father of Isaac. The sons of Isaac were Esau and Israel. The Births of Jacob and Esau This is the account of the family of Isaac, the son of Abraham. When Isaac was forty years old, he married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel the Aramean from Paden Aram, and the sister of Laban the Aramean. Isaac pleaded with the Lord on behalf of his wife, because she was unable to have children. The Lord answered Isaac's prayer, and Rebekah became pregnant with twins. But the two children struggled with each other in her womb, so she went to ask the Lord about it. Why is this happening to me? she asked. And the Lord told her, The sons in your womb will become two nations. From the very beginning, the two nations will be rivals. One nation will be stronger than the other, and your older son will serve your younger son. And when the time came to give birth, Rebekah discovered that she did indeed have twins. The first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair like a fur coat. So they named him Esau. Then the other twin was born with his hand grasping Esau's heel. So they named him Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when the twins were born. The Death of Abraham Abraham lived for one hundred and seventy-five years, and he died at a ripe old age, having lived a long and satisfying life. He breathed his last and joined his ancestors in death. His sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah near Mamre, in the field of Ephron, son of Zohar the Hittite. This was the field Abraham had purchased from the Hittites, and where he had buried his wife Sarah. After Abraham's death, God blessed his son Isaac, who settled near Berlahiroi in the Negev.